partial dependency only happens in the case of composite key. Com so composite key is one in which there are more than one primary columns for the table. Like in this case, student ID and course are the primary columns and combinedly they are called as composite key. Now, partial dependency is when a non-key column not not totally dependent on each of the primary columns. In this case, teacher teacher column is only dependent on course. It has to deal with the course which is studying. It has nothing to do with the student ID, so it is partially dependent on, on the primary parts. So the partially dependent part can be taken away to make another table, and they are both linked at the end as well. Transitive dependency is when one non-key table can be guessed from other non-key table. Like in this table, we have a student ID as a primary key and other tables are all non-prime keys. Maximum marks can be guessed from exam type column. Like if a stu we already know if a student is opting for Viva, it's of 20 marks. If it's theory, it's 100 marks and practical is of 50 marks. If hypothetically a student comes of a student ID 209 and he's opting for theory, we already know it will be 100 marks. Practical, we already know it will be of 50 marks. So this is called transitive dependency. Maximum marks is transitively dependent on exam types. Means maximum marks can be guessed by exam type name. In this case, we'll break the table and take transitive part away from the table and make it to another table and then link them both. Another example, match number is the primary key, other other tables are non-primary key. Whenever match is played in MCG, it's 80,000 capacity. When it's played in Hobart, it's 30,000. SCG, it's 65,000. We already know the capacity table from ground table. It means if the match, ne if the next match is played in MCG, we already know its capacity will be 80,000. If it's played in Perth, it will be of 45,000 capacity. Means capacity column is transitively dependent on ground table. Again, we'll break the table, remove transitive part from the table and make it an to another table and make another table of both both. Although from the main table, it will be only transitive part that can that should be removed. So that's the difference between transitive and partial dependency. In this table, if someone's designation is manager, the salary he'll be getting will be of 80,000. In the database table, if there is any transitive dependency between the non-key columns, we'll only break the part that is transitively depending on other part. Transitive dependency also occurs when there is a kind of calculation performed in the tables. Like in this table, the amount of earning is dependent on total ticket sale multiplied by the price of the ticket. This is also a transitive dependency. If there are 1000 tickets sold and each ticket is of 200, then there is a earning of 200,000. So if any calculation can be performed on table, it is also considered in third normal form.